Hello and welcome back to the channel, Gav here and Lucy. And thanks very much for all the recent subscribers I've got at the minute, uh, getting us closer to that thousand. So thank you very much to you guys. Uh, today's video is a bit of a controversial one, um, DKS. So you would have seen from the thumbnail. Um, I've had it before in my collection, I think once before, I put a link up, um, I think it goes up this side here, annotation to the previous video I had where I had a Mega Babima Mesolomus and that had DKS. I've now got another one with DKS and people think that, well everybody thinks that it probably could be down to chemicals, some sort of outside source, pesticides, um, could even be mould, stuff like that. But what I've noticed in the ones I've had, it's never any I've had in our collection. It's never... I'm not looking at the camera maybe again the whole entire time. <laughs> I was! Yeah. It's... In our collection that I've raised from a tiny sling, n any of them never ever get DKS. So this is the one, and I wouldn't normally hold uh, adult P. regalis that close to my face, but you can see she's not moving correctly. Uh, it's been like this for weeks now. I think we've left her in her own enclosure. Um, I'll show you some more footage in a second. Um, so before I show you any more footage, oh, she's trying to get up. Um, we need to clean her out in a second and then sort her out again on, yeah. we put her in an ICU. But before we show you that, it's obviously going to be stressing to some people because I need to move her and she doesn't move in the regular manner. She's, all over the place to the point last time she could only move was it near enough one side of her body in one direction and then she just sort of fell on her back and um, we've given her water <coughs> and we'll go through that in a Quite second jubbery, she? yeah but what i've tried to realize is i'm going to try not to drag this on too much is it's not any that i've had in my collection since the sling so it's nothing that i'm doing wrong or where i keep them or anything like that at all it's always ones that i've got from somewhere else and they've come to me and it's always during a malt. It's always after a malt. The last two I've had, it's always after a malt. The Megaphobema mesolonus had it after a malt. And then I put it into an ICU and it malted twice within one month. So it needed to re where they were inside. The skeleton's on the outside. There's something to do with the makeup on the inside. Like something's not right and that's why they're forcing another malt. Um, this one's had a malt. She was 17. I'll put a picture up here as a previous malt if I've still got it. She was um, 17 centimetres, so she's probably a little bit bigger, but she shrunk because her body Some weight's her gone down. Yeah, she had a malt, and then after that malt, it was her feet are crooked and not doing too well, and then she just refused to eat. And then since then, she's doing the little jerky movements, and it's just got slightly worse. So we've had her in an ICU now for nearly, what, two weeks, but she Less wasn't doing well. well. Yeah, but she wasn't doing well in her enclosure. Um, but as you know, with DKS, literally, you could put them in an ICU, keep the temperature, keep the humidity up, but they all seem to still die. I've managed to prolong the lifespan of the Megaphobema mesolumus, but then it still died, and it was going to do another molt, and it died again. This one, she's not doing any molt. She's just keeping on. She's struggling. So we put her in but she's picked up a bit, hasn't she? the ICU. There she is. You can see she's big. Um, as I said, she was 17 centimetres, so she's probably a bit more, but she's not altogether right at the minute. You'll see when we go to clean this out, because she's actually, the first few days she couldn't poo or anything like that. And if you can see down there, she's she cleared her bowels or whatever, and she's cleared her system out, but she's now like pooed everywhere. <laughs> she's just like projected it all over the place. So this is quite soaked. Um, so she's staying on it and she wasn't able to use her fangs was she at all we no. tried to get the movement she wouldn't open up her mouth part so we could have turned her over to put water in her mouth parts but the stress it was causing that's why we over soaked the bottom there's also a water dish in there which is completely topped up and I think you could see the tissue in the middle there it's all broken up where she's been doing this with her fangs so whether she's been getting the moisture, but we even saw her dragging herself with her fangs, using them as like, mm. to get across. And um, it's that thing of, are they in pain? Oh, yeah. Do you want to put them out of their misery? It's a tough one because obviously she's a beautiful spider, but I don't want to have her struggling or in discomfort or anything like that. So do you, you know, 
obviously put them out of their misery. But with this one, we thought we'd give it a bit of time. And we've actually seen her get two, worse, yeah. but then yeah, she got two better. Two days ago, she ate. She did. Two days ago, we managed to get her to eat, but I wouldn't say she attacked or did anything like that. She literally hand-fed her, hand -fed her put it, forced it under her fangs, and then she took it, and she ate it, and she actually ate We left her for a day, and she actually ate uh, the marrier worm. So if she did that, she ate it. So she's still holding on, but I just want to show you that it's up to everyone's preference. I know this is like a subject a lot of people don't put on. There's not a lot of research done about this, but um, there's a, there is a reason. But I'm not thinking the ones I've had is to do with any chemicals or pesticides or mold or anything because there was nothing in her enclosure. There's nothing to do with bugs that she had before or anything like that passing over to it. It was purely the ones I've had. It's all to do with molds. A bad mold. So it's a bad mold. So I think it's something internal that's not functioning properly on them. So the spiders which I had before in that previous video, they can force a molt and i know some people in the hobby when you put in groups say no they can't they can only molt once every so often i've had a p metallic at the moment twice in one month for no reason whatsoever so they can do it if there's something wrong inside they can force another molt to get rid of that exoskeleton and then redo themselves the other thing you get is impaction which she did have which is where they don't um, they can't defecate and they just will not eat and well, no, one of them i had before would eat and then you need to warm water around the rear of the abdomen if, depending on the species, it's not going to be too aggressive to bite you just to soften the area. But that again is down to molting where things are not aligned properly inside and they can't properly defecate. Because she so is as well. She had impaction. As like I said, I could show you, you could see it all there. That's where she shot it all out. And she's done the same on this corner. So she is now defecating. She's, to get better. she's moving. So we're going to just quickly because i've gone on there for about quite a few minutes we're going to just show you how we just do a basic icu put her in with some heat right next to her and then we just leave her be and then i'll probably give her another week and then try and feed her again but at least she's at so let's get straight on with that please be advised the following footage shows an animal struggling and moving irregular we are doing everything we can to help support and care for our tarantula in the following clip, you will see us cleaning the ICU enclosure, which will further stress the tarantula, but it's important we do so to improve the health of our tea. We intend this to also be educational to others in the hobby and also gain feedback from those who have successfully saved their tarantula from BKS. Okay, so as the little disclaimer I put on there before, um, you can see that she's a good size but I'm going to show you now by touching her so I'm not obviously by touching her now I'm going to stress her out but it's just for to show you guys but I need to move her anyway so I'm going to stress her out so I just want to quickly give her a little tap just so you can see now we've been monitoring her quite well so she can actually get up and move around slightly but I don't want to stress her too much but she hasn't got enough energy to um so she can move she's still okay for a minute but this is a lot better because when we touched her a week ago she would literally do the jerky shaky she movement lift her so she's or anything, yeah she, she couldn't she can now. so now she's moving about but i've had this with another one where i got it better and still died but she's at which is what i've not done to any of the others before yeah. so this is a good sign so i'm just going to change this whole setup up and then put her into another clean nice one so clean one. Right, so I do obviously, you know, apologise if anyone finds this um, hard to watch because she's a bit shaking all over the place, but we need to do it's this necessary. for her. For her, so. I'm trying to look after her. If I just do this, stay there. Sorry, sweet pea. Let's get that out. Oh, that was okay. Yeah, I, knew I was going to just do it like that anyway. And that didn't stress her. No, let me just clean that out. She's so pretty. You see all the pretty yellow underneath her legs. I hope she gets better. It's, um, 
a little bit more static. So you can see she's moving. Look, she can get up and walk if she wants, but she's not doing it because she's still she's not well. Preserving her energy as well. Yeah. Do you want to get that back in as you did it? The tissue. I know she doesn't look good, but this is a lot better than what she was a week ago. I literally had to lift up the front here and then put the food under her fangs to get her to take it. She did eat it. So, right, so Lucy's just cleaned out the tub, disinfected, wiped it all down. A um, couple of layers of really thick kitchen towel and then we soak it through. That's enough, yeah. And then water dish. Brilliant, right, now for the horrible bit. Sweetie, come on. Oh yeah, go on, go yourself, darling. She can walk, that'd be good. Come on. Look at the state of all the stuff she's done. She had quite a lot of impaction. She's moving so Get much on, better. this is the best. Yeah. Well done. You can see this foot's mangled. Yeah. For the mole. Oh, go on, girl. She can walk down. Don't turn. Don't want her to fall. Come on. I'm gonna give her a little help. Come on. Just so it's less stress. Uh, uh. Oh, yeah, see, so she's waking up a bit more. She, this is the best movement she's done. That's so positive. Yeah, sorry, I was like covering it up. You can still see her leg oh, there God, shaking. Sweetie. But as soon as I do this, there yeah. we go. Sorry, darling. And if she's you can so see, broken. this leg is bad. Her abdomen was a really weird shape as well. It was just all lumpy. Remember on the sides, it was all lumpy, which that has actually gone. It's gone round again, but it's not massive, she's but she's toilet. eaten. Yeah, but she's been to the toilet. So, and this is soaked really, really well. So she can get moisture, moisture from there, which if you saw on the previous one, look at this. If you can see on there, she was doing this with her fangs. So she was getting moisture out of that and she was tearing it up. So she never went over to the water dish, but she went over to this and just started getting the moisture out of it. But you could see that she had projectiled, pooped everywhere in certain places. Yeah. So she did have impaction as well. So that's really good that she's, she's really come out of that. Steps. But that's the best she's moved. But what I also do, which we did when we put her in there, is we soak the bottom, I just spray on her and it just gives a bit of moisture on the top, which can then go down through the joints, onto her mouth parts, and basically force her to drink instead of her having to suck off off the tissue, because it would just work its way down over the fangs and she'll get a bit of moisture that way. I really wanted to get better. But I'm telling you, like guys watching, this is the best movement we've had from her. This is really, really good signs. But from my experience, every time you have DKS, it always results in the tarantula inevitably dying, which is just, there's got to be one of us out in a hobby that finds a way of maintaining them to a point where we can get them through this. There's got to be a way of it. There's no vets out there that have done anything with this. Has, anyone, no research. Um, has anyone had it? And I don't know. I mean, better? obviously, if you're watching this and you've had DKS, if you've done any better, please leave in the yeah. comments below because it's going to help us all out in the hobby. We all want to know because it's, at the end of the day, it's about the tarantula's care and that's what we want. So this is our female P. regalis and I do not want her dying. So she? I don't know because, I, like I said, we got her from someone else. She was a juvenile. I've raised her to this point okay. and then she had a bad molt and it's done something to the inside of her. And then she's been like this because mm -hmm. she was a lot bigger. Her abdomen was huge. It was down here and she was chunkier. But she's eaten the other day which is good, better movement. You can see that she's now defecated. Yeah. So she's cleared her bowels and she's not shaking. So you've seen us touch her and she's not doing as much as the DKS uh, syndrome shaking. So hopefully cross fingers, but we'll keep you constantly updated with this to let you know how she's going. 
but I ain't gonna go on too much more because I wanna get her back in the warm area we've got and we're gonna leave her there to recuperate, but we'll keep you posted for this one, but thumbs up. But please comment below, guys, if you do have one that's managed to pull through, if somebody out there in YouTube land has, yeah, so we can help her specific. out. Yeah, but there you go. Big thanks for from Gab and Lucy, and we'll see you on the next one.